I am at the Belgrade airport waiting to board for my flight to Moscow and I think this is the only flight from Europe heading to Moscow these days. Uh, a lot of people right there, most of them Russians. Most of the Russians are actually uh, waiting to board this plane as well. So we'll see. Uh, Air Serbia, which is the operator, is actually um, replaced its original Airbus A319 for the Airbus A330 because of its quite increased capacity. But anyway, I'll try to speak with some of the people a little bit later to see how they feel about this. So heading in Belgrade airport towards the C5 gate and I have to say I travel a lot and I travel a lot in di from this airport and I can really share with you that uh, the atmosphere here now is very somber. I don't know why but it is really some kind of tension uh, felt in the air. It was very similar with uh, the times when COVID started two years ago, I think exactly around these days. So generally people are, it's seen that there is no happiness in the people's faces when you walk through the airport. And this is expanding airport. As you can see, workers are working. But anyway, I'm heading now towards C5 uh, gate. The plane is fully packed, it's Airbus A330, it's the first time that I'm flying uh, with, uh, inside that plane from Belgrade to Moscow. Mostly though, uh, well, though, those were Airbus A319 and uh, A320, much smaller airplanes, but this is wide body because there is so many people now trying to, to reach Moscow and to return back to Russia. And here it is, here's the airplane. Yeah, here's the airplane, it's called Nikola Tesla. Usually it is flying from Belgrade to New York. And it, what is interesting is that this exact aircraft is leased from Russia's air flot. Okay, I am waiting now at the, to pick up my luggage here at Sheremetyevo airport. What is interesting, it is usually very busy, a uh, very busy airport. Uh, a lot of foreign flights, a lot of domestic flights. What is interesting is that only three foreign flights are right now. I've seen that arri uh, one arrived from Dubai, one arrived from Belgrade, which I was in, and one came from Istanbul. Uh, the airport is eerily silent and I had a very interesting conversation with uh, the uh, police officer, the border guard, who checked my passport and he said, oh, Serbia is not a member of the EU, that's why you arrived here. And that is the fact, because Serbia is not a member of the EU, Serbia still didn't impose any sanctions on Russia and Serbian uh, aircraft still flying here to Moscow and to Russia.
this is the luggage for travelers coming from Istanbul and this is from Belgrade well I arrived to my hotel here in Moscow which is just a couple hundred meters away from the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, during my flight just before the flight I tried to speak with several Russian uh, passengers there in that uh, air aircraft and nobody wanted to speak to me uh, on camera uh, regarding the current issue. What I realized and what I understood by talking to them is that most of them were actually the tourists who, which went to the skiing resorts in Serbia and some of them went in Montenegro and they were happy that they can return back to Moscow some of them returning even earlier than their scheduled flight because of this situation. So most of them had some skiing equipment with them when they landed in Moscow Sheremetyevo airport and everybody I spoke with were very concerned about the situation but once again all of them uh, had doubts even talking to me and one even labeled me as a spy particularly when I uh, said that I'm a journalist and he didn't want to listen to me anymore uh, which uh, media I'm representing he just said spy spion and that's it, he didn't want to have anything to do with me. So it also shows a growing uh, distrust towards the foreigners among the Russians because most of the Russians are actually showing the, uh, their uh, distrust for a long time towards the foreigners. But in the situations like this, they uh, do feel that almost all foreigners, particularly Western, uh, Western foreigners, uh, actually do have some agenda regarding Russia and regarding Russians and that's why that kind of distance uh, which or that kind of wall even psychological war which was built between them and the, the, the rest uh, of us well not the rest of us uh, and the foreigners that's it <laughs>